Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, has been convicted on all 34 charges in the hush money criminal case. Now, Trump is the first former United States president to be convicted of a crime, and he's also been indicted in the past too. But some of the charges in this case are that he's been found guilty of falsifying business records to conceal a hush money payment made to adult star Stormy Daniels. And the next step is for the judge, Juan Merchant, to approve the verdict and give the final judgment. The kicker here, though, is that Donald Trump can still run for office and can still become president of the United States. What kind of impact this is going to have on the November presidential elections and his Republican campaign remains to be seen. We're crossing over to my colleague Dipali to get us more on this. Dipali, tell us more about the overall case and how significant this is now. Well, yes, I said Donald Trump has once again marked his name in the history books. Uh, as you rightly mentioned, he has been found guilty on all the 34 counts in this historic criminal trial. Talking about the case, he has been convicted for falsifying the business records in the run-up to, of course, the 2016 presidential elections, which he won. And the 12 jurors in this case, they deliberated for two days before uh, reaching a unanimous verdict. And the case relates to, like we know, concealing a payment which was made to the adult film actress, uh, Stormy Daniels, to keep mom after having a physical relationship uh, with Trump in 2006. And she was paid uh, $130,000 in exchange of her silence ahead of the elections. Now, this is the first time uh, for a former or even a current U.S. president uh, to be convicted of a crime. We have to wait and see for the ramifications till at least 11th of July, at least because that is when uh, the sentence will be announced. But for now, no change has been made to the Secret Service's deployment of the uh, of, of Donald Trump. Now, 11th July is also when, you know, the, the days ahead of the Republican National Convention when Trump is expected to be formally nominated. Although right now also he is already the presumptive one, but 11th July... Uh, after 11 July, when the Republican National Convention happened, that is when uh, he'll be formally nominated. Now, he may face a jail. A maximum of four years uh, of jail could be handed in this case. Uh, but a fine is more likely outcome because he's a first-time felon. He doesn't have a past criminal record. But in case, even if he's jailed, uh, there's nothing in the U.S. Constitution that will stop him from running for the presidency. And in fact, you know, all these cases have only increased his popularity against Joe Biden, uh, his uh, digital fundraising system that had recorded a record number of donors just after the verdict. And talking about Trump's next action, he can and, of course, is likely to appeal. There are three other criminal cases that are lined against him, but this is the only one uh, to finish or to go on trial before the elections in November so far. Back to you, Asha.